welcome back to the final night of straight shooting uh, at the SBIE Optics and Photonics Conference. Not the season finale of our show. No. This is the final night of the show. Uh, we had a, a fabulous show. I'm Tom. This is Ron. This is Tim. We are here representing OptiPro. We've had a, a great show. Our producer, Kelsey, is mere feet away, ready to push the stop button at any point. I try to make a Dan Brown novelist joke again. Uh, we don't want to confuse our angels and demons and Da Vinci Code readers and, uh, and get them involved. Anyway, let's talk the reason for the season. We are on our final day of the show. It's been a very successful show. Uh, you may notice we have uh, some special beer. Tim, you want to tell us a little bit about the beer? Actually, Ron, you got the floor on this one. Ron, seize the floor. Well, it's a, from a local company in Rochester, New York. I got to say it's... I think it's Newport, California. No, no. I mean the person that brought oh, it. Oh, yes. Yes, you're right. Sorry, honey. That's all right. <laughs> We're just, uh, I hate when they fight. <laughs> <laughs> Kay at Sidar brought us some sweetness to our booth today because yes. she was just so impressed with our podcast. Yes. So we have a couple, they're called the Wheelers. Mm. Mm. Lavender Sour Ale. I don't know, it sounds like a girl's beer, but we're gonna try it oh out Oh boy, tomorrow. you know what? Beer for all genders, I say. Cheers, boys. Cheers. 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 Now, so yes, shout out Sidor, thank you very much. Shout out Kay. The world is flat. Oh, wow. Well, well, yeah. no. So, wait a minute. It's actually not bad, I like it. So now, we'll, before we get into this tonight, you know. Yeah. This is, kind of your first adventure with Tim and I. Yes. I just wanted to get your reflection on what do you think the week consists of? How, how do you think it went? Well, I, it? I really would like to have legal representation if I'm going to break down my relationship with you and Tim. I don't want to say anything that could be litigious. No, I had a fabulous time. You know, Ron, I call him Obi Ron Kenobi. He's the wise man. He's got the wisdom. He's got the, uh, he's got, he's got, he knows everybody. He's a Rolodex. Uh, he's got the juice. He's like a human encyclopedia when it comes to the optics industry. There's not a person he doesn't know. There's not a machine he doesn't know. It's really, I mean, honest to God, it's, 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 it's awesome to watch. The, the, yeah. the, uh, we, took a, we had a sales dinner. It was really just kind of like watching two people that are really good at passing the ball back and forth between each other. It's like a game of catch. I used to say this in improv comedy. You don't want to confuse your scene partner in an improv scene. You guys want to be on the same page. You guys are very sympathetical. Tim, I call Tim the cannon because Tim will hit you. He can be a little abrasive, but in a good way, he can kind of boom. Like you, Tim's the kind of guy that, like, when you were in high school and you pissed him off, he'd grab you by the straps, shove you against your locker. But he does it in a loving way. And the way they react off each other, you know, Ron, a little bit of the whispering wise man, you know, he'll kind of give you a little little sonnets in the air. And Tim will say, like, listen, let's get down to brass tacks. Well, and he's around for protection, too. I can't That's right. you. So at the show. So though, I had a great time at the show. Sorry, thanks for letting me roll on. Let me say. But I got a couple another question. I think sure. it's important because of this dynamic we have here. Yeah. You're at the show. Anything surprise you? Anything that you didn't expect to be at the well, show? Well, you know, I will say I'm surprised, and this is going to sound like I'm patting our company on the back. I'm surprised how many people know you guys. I mean, it is. You guys are kind of like I'm used to getting a lot of attention, so you can understand I was fuming with jealousy. Yeah. You guys are very well known, and I was just surprised, I guess, how how close knit yet wide ranging the optics community is. I mean, we met people from France, people from Germany, people from Israel by way of India. We met two people yeah. born in India who are now academics in Israel, and then you know we meet people in Pasadena that have one of our machines. You know, there's people all. It's just it it's interesting to amazing. me how small yeah. the world gets and yet how big it feels when you start to think about traveling to those places. That really was to me both inspiring and a little bit overwhelming. Like, holy cow, we are a big, you know, we do a lot of big stuff. Great. It's pretty cool. Great. Sorry I hijacked it. You're doing no. a great job all week. No, no, no. I'm glad you did, Ron. I just want to point out the fact that this is the first time the club's been uh, pretty busy. Yeah. It is. So this podcast, I mean, we got we got live action Basically, we've us. got a live studio audience of unwilling oh, people we, reforced. We have to get the court up pretty soon because the people are starting to accumulate around here That's trying true. to figure out what's going on. Well, I they know tell, you I from did, Hollywood. I told them there would be a meet and greet with you guys afterwards, so there might be some people with autographs. Now, like I said, guys, this is kind of what I wanted to get. We've had a very busy show, a lot of talking to people, a lot of hand sanitizer for Rod. Uh, <laughs> so, you know, the show's over now, and, you know, and we're gonna be heading back home. You, you come off this week with this just kind of, these, these, these peaks where you're, you know, you're talking to people, there's potential out there, there's, you know, new, new relationships to be formed, old relationships to be fostered. 
how do you how do you decompress and then get to work? You know, well, the what's first, your tactic? Yeah, for the it? first thing is when you get back to the East Coast. Yeah. You know, one o'clock in the morning can't be four o'clock in the morning. We have to get up at the right time. Right. Because you know? there's time change that occurs. The second is you get your Aloha bars. They keep you going. All yes. The time. All right. Not a sponsor again, but by the way, they should be. Whiskey, I mean, we get them every show. Marriott, Roy's, Aloha bars. Everybody start thinking about sponsoring us, okay? Because we are the number one optics video podcast. As far as I know, we're the only optics video podcast. There's some audio podcasts out there, and they're great. But nobody has the video component like the Opti Bros no. at Opti Pro. I like that. My Vocal oracles support. of optics, my philosophers of photonics. I've been waiting to drop that one on you guys. <laughs> Good golly, I've been waiting to drop that on you guys. <laughs> Tim, you've got young kids. Yep. How the heck do you assimilate back into the real world after coming off a, 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 off a sales trip? I mean, it's pretty easy. When you get home, I mean, you miss your family, you miss your, your home front, and, mm -hmm. you know, it's just normality. You know, Ron and I talk about it all the time. It's not just going back to your family. It's, it's going back to your house, going back, you know, sleeping in your own bed. I mean, the beds are comfortable here, and most Marriott's they are. However, it's not your bed. You know, it's not your yard. It's the little things. It's... Uh, you know, 99% of the time, my wife's back at home taking care of the girls, and you know, well, it could we, be a well, lot. we put her to work this week. Uh, well, she we, had a, we she made had her executive team. producer, and she's going to be up for an Emmy, I think, for this eventually. Oh. And, you know, I missed the OptiPro coffee, to be honest. No. Oh, it, yeah. It, Rob loves the coffee in OptiPro, uh, as evidenced by his 19 personal coffee devices he has <laughs> in his office because he won't <laughs> touch our swill. Anyway, guys. I have had a fabulous time. Yep. Uh, obviously, we've had some fun, but you know, it would be disingenuous to say that we haven't worked and that you guys especially have put in some really hard work. And that is the beauty of having a job like this is that you can have a good time and still work hard and, and it really doesn't feel too much like you're working. Well, and uh, time yeah. to think about it. You know, what time did your day start? Seven o'clock, you post a video at seven? Yeah, about seven o'clock. What yep. time is it right now? God, it could be midnight for all I know. Was it 9.15? 9.15, 9.30. So that's a 14 and hour. And we're still working. Yeah. But that, and so most people think, you know, you're on the show, oh man, you're in beautiful sunny San Diego. You know, you get to go to the boardwalk, the beaches. Everyone's having a lot of fun. And we did have a good time, but I think it's our energy. It's our communication. It's, okay. it's we made it fun, but the day still goes. Yeah, absolutely. You know, we're still doing these podcasts, which are fun. So yeah. I, I, I do it. But, 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 but your day is not yeah, done. There's a work component. So what I'm taking here from you guys is that, you know, you work hard and then you allow yourself to kind of decompress once you get home yep. and then the work starts back up again. But as long yep. as you like or love what you do, you know, it's worth yep. it. The juice is worth the squeeze. The juice. The juice. <laughs> Cheers to the juice. Cheers juice. to the juice. Cheers to the juice, boys. I would like to thank both Ron and Tim and Kelsey for helping out with these podcasts. I want to thank all of the businesses that stopped by or donated. Shop, side door. Uh, Tri Optics. Who did we have last night? We had my friend Kenny from Saddest Low. Uh, Sidor for the beer, I already said. Thank you guys. Thank you, SPI. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thanks everybody who came on and was a celebrity shot guest. We can't wait for the next show. We're already planning big things for the next time we're out here. Thank you so much and have a great night.